Hey guys, in this video we're going to expand upon our select statement tutorial to include a new feature of the select statement. This new feature is called group by and it's a lot like the pivot table feature that you find in Microsoft Excel. It allows you to take the rows in a database table in MySQL and group them together by some sort of value or field. So if we look at the city table, which we used in the last video, you'll see that we have a couple of fields that are going to be very useful if we'd like to group our records together. You can probably guess what those two are. The first one would be country code. In other words, we could group together cities that are in the same country by grouping them together by country code. We could also group together records or cities that are in the same district. So we're going to look at some ways in which we can group together the records that are being output by a select statement by fields such as country code and district. So let's begin by outputting the list of name and population values in city. So we put in select name comma population from city. And you can see we get over 4,000 rows. Now what we'd like to do is say group those records by a particular value. So let's say we're going to group them all together by country code. And we only want to see some basic information. So let's look at this query here. Select country code, comma, count star from city. And the new part we've added on is group by country code. So what that's going to do is it's going to take all the records found in the city table and it's going to group them together based on the country code value. So every record that has the same country code, or rather every set of records that have the same country code, will be grouped together and aggregated. Just like we would do in a pivot table when we drop a field into the rows box of the spreadsheet. So in this case, we're going to select and obviously we'd like to see the country code so that we know what each record being output looks like. And then we're going to usually use some sort of function. We're going to count or sum or average the results of that aggregated collection of cities. So let's look at what this actually looks like. So if I run this query, you can see we get a list of country codes and since the query was count star for each set, we get the number of cities that have that country code. So for example, looking up the screen a little bit, we see that the United States has 274 records that have uh, 274 records for cities in the US. Uh, Zimbabwe looks like has seven and so on. So the group by is a feature of your select statement that allows you to aggregate those rows together. Now when you do a group by you almost always want to take the group by field and include it in the output otherwise you wouldn't see those values here and you would just see a list of numbers. So we don't want to uh, miss out on including that same field that we're grouping it by in the output. Now one thing you'll notice is that the output scrolled by really fast. We can scroll back and look at it here in the output. So I'm scrolling back up until I reach the very top and here you'll see like Afghanistan has four cities listed in the database. If that's difficult and you don't want it to scroll by really fast, there's a command, which I'm going to link to down in the description, that allows you to do what's called pagination. In other words, it's going to display one page of data and stop and wait for you to tell it what to do. We do that by typing pager less and pressing enter. 
essentially that's telling it to use the Linux built-in command of less to do pagination. Now, if we run that query again, you'll see that it stops as soon as it's displayed one screen full of information. If we press the spacebar, it shows another full page. Spacebar again is another full page. If we press enter, it shows one additional line of output. So each time we press enter, it advances one line. And then each time you hit space, it goes one page. And when you want to exit out, you can press the Q to exit out of it. And that's an easy way of displaying the output one page at a time. You can also turn off paging by typing no pager. And it turns off the pagination. So it's a very useful little uh, tool for viewing large amounts of output. So now let's go back to group by. We saw how we can select uh, a group of records and group them by country code. We can change that same thing, by the way, to not just do count star, but we could do something like uh, average. So we could change this to the average, but we can't average the entire record. We have to average a particular field, and maybe want, we want to average population. So this would show us the average city population for a particular country. And if we run it, you can see that the United States has an average population of about 286, 287,000 uh, people in each city, at least according to this database. So we could replace those functions with different functions, and this is equivalent to filling in that value box in the pivot table in an Excel spreadsheet and then changing the function that we're using. So you see how this is very analogous to a pivot table in a spreadsheet, but it allows you to do it right here using a database tool. Now, one thing to note is that we can group by more than one field, in which case we are now nesting groups of values within groups of values. The equivalent in a pivot table would be to put two fields in that rows column or the rows box in your pivot table. And the way it looks in SQL is to simply use a comma delimited list for group by. So let's break down the statement real quick. We're going to select country code and district. So we're going to group everything first by country and then within each country we're going to group it by district and we're going to show the average population for that district which would be the AVG parentheses population. We select from the city table and then we group by those two fields country code comma district. When we run it you'll see we get quite a few more records because it's grouping everything by country code and then by district. So we basically get a list of every unique district found in the database. And if I scroll back, you can see here for the USA, we have just about every state listed with the average population for that state. So if I locate Georgia, then the average population for the cities in Georgia would be, it looks like 191,000 or so. Now, of course, this is just the records that are in this database, which is just an example. So this is not equivalent to, you know, real world cities. So we've covered the basics of group by, which is a feature that's very analogous to the pivot table in Microsoft Excel. The key things to remember are you can group by one field or more, but when you do group by, as we did in our last statement, you want to include those field names in your output. That way you know what each record represents. So for example, the USA, Georgia, and then it's good to use some sort of function min, max, average, to give you the 
value associated with that group of records. So for more information, you can check out the link below in the description, which will take you to the W3 Schools website, where they have uh, an in-depth description of the group by feature.